A client brought me this bottle about four years ago. It took me about 20 seconds to tell him that it was unquestionably a counterfeit bottle. Wine fraud is not new. Unfortunately, it's pretty safe to say that anybody who's been collecting and buying wine in the last 15 years, they have probably purchased at least one counterfeit wine. We manage private wine collections for individuals, people who are just starting to collect, all the way up to people who have tens of millions of dollars worth of wine. But we also specialize in authentication of fine and rare wine, which is where I get the nickname, the Sherlock Holmes of wine. It sounds really hokey, but the first thing that I do is I just spend a couple minutes like just looking at it and taking it in. One of the things that I'm looking for in any given bottle is consistency. So in my toolkit, I have magnification, uh, flashlights, blue lights, and razor blades. The composition of paper and of glue have changed over the years, and there are chemical additives that have been put in. And depending on how something reacts under a blue light, you can date it. This bottle is supposed to be from 1947. It fluoresces. This paper should be totally non-reactive to a blue light if it were true to its period, but it is not. Magnification is useful to see uh, paper grains, the quality of the print, the type of the font and the size of the font. I'm looking for sharp lines. These sharp lines are gonna be the result of proper printing, whether it's offset letterpress or some other type of professional printing. We don't have this kind of fuzzy noise of all the splatter from an inkjet. Length of the cork is something that counterfeiters get wrong all the time, so I do a lot of measuring. This actually has an authentic label, and this is supposed to be a 1961 Hoprion. Um, the problem is that the cork is completely blank, and Hoprion would have never done that. I have to say that I have no worries about this bottle. I mean, it looks totally fine. And this happens to be one of the few Italian wines that is kind of frequently counterfeited. This is embossed as it should be. The paper has a nice texture to it. A lot of times, counterfeiters can't afford to use or they don't use proper gold foil. And so it won't look this pretty. You have to have looked at tens of millions of dollars of real wine to be able to spot a fake. It can be really brutal to tell a client that they've got fake wine. So I kind of have to treat it like taking a Band-Aid off. It's like, bam, that 82 Petrus that you have is actually counterfeit.